and we're here back on White Blocks SMP server. Hey, uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, we're in the 1.6.1. Brilliant update. The zombies are awesome, except they lag out the server, which is why you haven't seen any uploads very recently. But yeah, um, a bit of progress. Um, I shifted a lot of my storage over to my uh, new base location, the desert uh, swamp area. I've cleared out a lot of the trees in the swamp and lit it all up. And I've started work on the uh, witch hut, which I'll show you guys soon. But uh, over here we've got my storage, uh, just what I've brought here so far. Uh, I just went mining recently, so let me just chuck all this stuff back in. Nothing more from ores. Saddles, nope. Uh, rotten flesh. Gunpowder. Um, wood. I have a lot of crafting tables, because I make them when I'm down, um, down in the mines themselves. And, yeah, I bring them back. No, I carry them around, like, I cut the... I break the crafting table and pick them up and carry them with me. Um, so in the end I just bring it back and I just give it a lot of um, a lot of crafting tables. I can't really do stuff and talk at the same time, can I? Not really. I need more practice on that. Let me just finish up here. Um, so I'm going to need to replace my silk touch, I don't, I'm not sure whether I have anything here at the moment, and breaking free would do. Um, do I have anything in the furnaces? Nope. But yeah, I'm going to just uh, give you a tour around uh, the village. So we've got a well over here, uh, we've got farms with carrots and potatoes. Uh, these houses are all boarded up regardless of whether they have a villager in them or something. But uh, yeah, we've got villager here. I think a, a villager in here. No, I don't see any. A uh, villager in here. Um, got three in here. That's good. So we're going to have. Oh. oh, my sword broke. So I'm going to go have to get another sword. Let me just do you get the sword. Oh, nah. Not yet. It's too soon. I need it for something else. I'll probably need it for like looting something. Uh, okay. Let me just. And sword. Those zombies are really pesky. They always hang around villages. With the new um, social update of the zombies. There we go. With the new zombies, they sent to villagers like ages, ago, ages away, and then they call their friends to help uh, tackle the villagers. So it's really, really scary for the villagers now. As soon as you see villagers, you pretty much have to board up the house. So, but yeah, uh, we've got all those houses, and then along here, I just found some greens for when we need them. Sorry for the rain, man. I don't like it. Hold on, let me see if I can turn on particles for the moment. There we go. We've got a lot of pigs and a lot of cows around here. I haven't killed any of them. Uh, we've got sheep. I haven't seen any chickens. Um, I haven't killed any of these animals because I don't need them yet. Um, I've still got, like, uh, my pork around. And when I don't have pork, then when I eat all of the pork up, then, yeah, I'll probably just have potatoes. But, yeah, over here we have this witch hut. Um... I've been watching Doc M's video on the spawn witch hut and basically there are two levels on which the witches can spawn and only the witches can spawn which is uh, this level here which is um, the second level below the beam uh, second level below the floor and then here which is the first level so you just place your wood all along there and then after that the witches can spawn of them and then you get a shifting floor um, so the witches fall down, or so the witches um, go into water stream, which goes into lava, kills them, uh, gets the drops, etc. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, either drop or lava. Um, I think lava is more compact, but the falling will be a lot. Probably. I reckon the drop will be the best. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna design a drop and put the um, sorting down there so when they fall, uh, all the drops get sorted out and then we get glowstone and redstone. Uh, yeah, so for preparation I've been cutting out all these trees and then down there I've been mining. I haven't got a proper x-ray. I haven't seen how much I've mined yet so let me just head over here. I'll make an x-ray machine and then you guys can have a look as well. Live <laughs> action reaction live stuff. But yeah, um, not many people have been on white blocks recently, uh, mainly because uh, we're all busy with our summer holidays and such, but I think it's also the fact that 1.6.1 is really laggy, so we're all waiting for 1.6.2, which should have come out today, um, since it's Monday, we're not sure when it's going to be released, but hey, we'll have to wait, I mean, we can't really say to Mojang, hey, can you, um, hey, can you, um, release your, can you release your game, like, early, because we're just not influential enough to do that, guys. Alright, so, pistons, I'm gonna make, um, pistons for the x-ray trick, um, if you guys don't know it, basically what you do is you make pistons, they push a transparent block, transparent block which you can't see through uh, block into into you so you don't suffocate but then you can see through all the blocks it's a bit cheaty but it's used for mob farms because basically it's really really hard to um, it's really hard to know whether you've got all of the spaces or not alright so we've got that there actually let me just select for a second uh, I saw that skeleton over there he did not look friendly whatsoever. It was raw. No, uh, cooked pork chop as well. Hello, fair. Hello, friend. I won't hit you it. Not yet, not yet. Yada, yada, yada. Alright. Skeleton should be gone. Oh, I don't like that creeper. Let's just move over here, but I don't think I've done too much. I'll show you guys what I've done so far and what I need to continue to do. So, lever there. Um, yeah, I didn't use my shovel because it's so OP. I used it... No! I used it in the hillside clearing project that I undertook. And man, it was really OP. I loved it. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. So you guys can see all around. Um, not too bad. I've still got to do there, do there, do a lot of those. Um, light up that ravine. Ah, there's a there's a hole over there. I'm gonna have to light that up. But I've lighted quite a bit. I haven't done too much. But I've lighted that, that, that. There are a lot of caves. Um, so that's just giving you a general insight what I'm usually going to be doing behind the scenes before I start building the witch hut. Let me just um, light up this. There it is. And hopefully that should light up everything that's underneath. Yeah, that's going to show you guys what I have to do uh, behind the scenes. But hey, it'll be worth it, right? I mean, for infinite glowstone and infinite redstone and all the potion brewing stuff, I might be able to set up a potion farm with all the witches. Uh, when the witches drop the drops, it goes into a brewing, uh, sorts into chests, and then that goes into a brewing stand, uh, which sorts the uh, drops into potions. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera, probably just a witch hut, and a lot more lighting about. But I can't really do much because I've got a Fiji trip, so I might just build something instead. I don't know. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so I've decided we're going to um, build a hut over here with a bed and basic storage. Um, probably going to have to build a storage hut somewhere around here, but we can do that another episode and when we get more stuff. Still nothing in that furnace, why did I check that? Jesus. So I have no idea how I'm going to build this, but um, I'm going to build a little bit on camera. Uh, let's start with stone bricks to map out the layer as we did with the spawn house. So I want to follow the general hill pattern like this, I guess. Ah, 
It's not efficiency anymore. Gee, actually might give it more of a curve over here. So, probably should talk about something. White blocks, applications. Um, some of you have asked whether they could join the white blocks SP server. And for most cases, on like other servers, you know the answer is no. On this server, we're really open to anyone who actually applies. Um, it's not guaranteed that we will say yes to everyone, but we will we will look at your application, look at your channel, and see whether you're a fit candidate, uh, fit candidate to join us. Actually, I might make this smaller. Generally, what we're looking for is a decent amount of subs because subs sort of reflect your regular upload schedule. Uh, well, how regular your upload schedule is, and also reflects on your personality and your creativity while you do YouTube videos. I really think that subs are important. Like a lot of guys say, no subs are important. We don't care uh, how many subs you have. We'll accept you um, even if you have five subs as long as you do regular uploads. I'm pretty sure that um, we look more at quality than quantity of subs, but still subs do matter because it shows um, if people find you, will they stick around or do people like your content? If you don't get many views, that's fine. But Mainly what we look at at red blocks is, well white blocks is, we look at your sub to view ratio. For example, uh, last time I checked my sub to view ratio was something like 3.3. .3. So for every 100 views I got 3.3 .3 subs. And that's actually a pretty high. Um, I was talking to some other guys and they on the server and they got like 2.5, 2.4. But generally if you're getting very low views and very low subs, it's not, no, if you're getting low subs, but your sub to view ratio is pretty high as you can, then we'll look at that and we'll take it into consideration about accepting you. So applications are sort of open at the moment. Uh, if you send a message to me, um, we might accept you. Um, we are generally looking for more people on the server. Um, let me just get into bed. Heal. Because we've got... Can I save this on camera yet? We've got eight people. Uh, Savin left us to join a bigger server uh, without telling us and that's kind of a dickhead move for him but hey yeah. I don't know it's his decision and like if he doesn't want to be around then if we're not good enough for him then I don't know <laughs> if we're not good for him if we're not good enough for him then he can he can go to that server all he wants and then he can leave them too. That's pretty much how I see it. So that's the house. Maybe have a lawn here. Um, so what we're going to do on the inside is we're going to build... We're uh, going to finish it a little. Oh, this looks a little odd to you guys, but that's where I'm going to place my furnaces. So we've got eight people and then we're looking at, we're currently looking at new people at the moment. We're looking at, um, I can't really say their names on camera yet because we haven't released any information. But um, one guy, he's got 13 subs and another guy, uh, he's got 70. All fine and dandy. But if you guys want to apply, we we would like to accept new people. Generally, we're really looking more for damn I'm out of cobble. How are you? How can you be out of cobble? Well, I smelted all of it into stone. 
Let's excavate this. We're looking more for Let's Players in Redstone, guys. If you've got a pass in Redstone, I'm sorry, but we might not look look at you and think, man, I want to invite him to our server. Basically because we want guys with experience, but maybe to improve your own experience. It's either invite or it's or we'll accept people with experience let's playing. Another thing, I I'm I started on the server because I wanted to um, gain experience on how to let's play. Like I with the help of Ray and Gunda, we we started a server so we could promote um, the Red Blocks creative server so you guys could join us on the Redstone and hang out, maybe do some survival on the Atlantis survival world. But yeah, the main reason I want to do a Let's Play is to one, promote for the server. What did I want? I want a crafting table. Hello? We so start uh, promote for the server, but also I wanted to practice uh, commentary and learning how to let's play because I've been pretty. I I had the sort of natural talent of being able to talk for ever and ever and ever, and I wanted to put it into practice. That's one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel. It was because I wanted to practice commentating, practice talking non-stop. I wasn't... For topics I didn't really know about or didn't really care about, I wasn't really too good with that. Might make some slabs here. So I wanted to practice uh, talking about certain topics and with you guys and making sure it's interesting for you guys to listen to. Also multitasking like at the moment I'm building a house and it looks pretty bad and I'll probably edit it over time but I'm doing this at the same time I'm talking and that's a lot different to when I first joined YouTube where I did so many takes on that first video the free high sand or man that was a lot of takes and it took a while to upload but now it's my most popular video 500 views now well that lighting it's not too bad let's add a roof but yeah let's playing I I wasn't sure whether I would like it but I I really wanted to give it a go it's one of those things where if you don't give it a go you you'll probably regret it for the bit of your life No, I, I. How do I want to do this? Let's do it like this. I reckon something like that. That's a bit fat. Might have to raise it up. But I love Let's Playing. Like, one of my loves has been Survival Minecraft for a while now like I'm not as skilled at redstone as guys like Gunda or TT Lemon or Callum K Minecraft my inspirations for YouTubing but I I don't know I'm a really creative person and I love doing ideas which people have never done before so I wanted to start let's playing so I could start maybe doing some of those live um, as I get more and more confident in Let's Playing Stupid Falling, as I get more and more confident in Let's Playing, I'm going to be um, adding more new ideas, make it a l whole lot more interesting. I've got a lot of ideas planned. I just need to get resources done. I need to build a wheat farm. And yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to do. This looks horrible. Uh, let's go see this here. I reckon this looks horrible. Yeah, it looks horrible. What if I did that? 
<laughs> this <is> brilliant. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to cut back to you guys because I don't have much time to record. So I'm doing a bit of this all in one take. But yeah, that that house actually looks pretty bad. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to uh, show you the finishing product before I end the episode in a little bit of a bang. But I've just turned around. This is the opposite direction to the house we were just building. And... There we go. It looks really nice. Um, I did the roof uh, sort of just a cone sort of shape. Um, put a half slab jungle slab there so it looks a lot more open. But the one thing I don't like is uh, how we jump up to the house over here. Like while it looks fun over here. As soon as you jump up, excuse me, that's my cat. Now once you jump up, it's a little bit cramped here. So what I might do, I might make a little bit of a deck area over here. So we can walk to it easily and make it have sort of a little balcony across this land over here and towards the witch farm. So they'll look really nice. But uh, I've got this little deck over here. Uh, jungle wood slabs as, uh, jungle wood as you guys saw. A slab roof just a little bit of a running around. Some of it is a bit flat so mobs can spawn in it. So I've put torches there. Over here I've got a design I'm not quite sure about. I don't know. It, I think it looks okay but I might have to do the same as I did over here. Um, or just a normal roof. I don't know. I was just experimenting. So what do you guys think? Just tell me. In the comments, just tell me what you think of that roof over there. But this is the inside, not being too flash. We've got a bed over here for when I'm alone and I want to sleep. Or when we've got a sleep period. Uh, ooh, I forgot to do that. But it actually looks quite nice once I have a look at it. Let's just put a torch up there. So nothing can spawn. Though I highly doubt it. Here we have the furnaces and crafting bench that I showed you. Then down here. We've got the enchanting table I use some of my diamonds for. So we're just going to do a little bit on the enchant, just level 1 sharpness 1 that's brilliant and iron pickaxe level 1. Unbreaking 1. Not too bad. I like unbreaking 1's because then I don't have to break my pickaxes so easily. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up the episode with a little bit of a clip. Uh, sorry guys. This is a sort of filler clip. I forgot to uh, record the clip beforehand showing you the house and what I've done. But uh, this is the clip I've recorded beforehand, so uh, you just might see previous information being given. Also, I'm probably going to release this before I head to Fiji, just because I'm impatient. Might record another episode to release during Fiji. So yeah, um, see you soon. Hey guys, just going to wrap this up. Uh, this is just going to be a short episode to take you guys over while I'm in Fiji, helping guys at schools. So, um, this house is empty and I don't really want it because I want this... I pretty much eventually want to demolish this village so I can build all my stuff around here. Yeah, I want it as open as possible. Uh, this house has no villagers inside it but it has TNT. So we're going to have a bit of fun. Alright, let's hope it doesn't blow any other houses. Woo! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 sandstone, sandstone, no, oh cow, damn it, oh damn the bitches, you, oh my god, oh my Yeah, but this is a really big carnage. Wow, I love this crater a lot. I'm going to have to light it up and such, but... Oh man, TNT can be so much fun. It's, especially in the desert, where all sandstone has a really low durability. But man, I really didn't want that villager to escape. Oh god, that's... That's going to be irritating. So, I'm going to clean up and... You know, like, Aww. next episode, or where did that villager go? Where did you go, boy? Can you really, like go back inside or something? Where'd you go? Right. You can stay down there.
screw you. I'm a house task manager. If you can't handle the stress of living inside a crappy old house like that, you just have to live in here. Fair is fair. Yeah. Better light it up, actually. But yeah, cheers for watching, dudes. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. I always enjoy your ratings. Always enjoy seeing new people join, and always enjoy seeing you guys enjoy my content. So yeah, cheers for watching, dudes. I'm Torbray.